Ezio Assassino. I, oh wait, hold on, I, wrong brand. Creed is one of the most popular niche fragrant houses in the market right now. If you guys can afford it, I'd recommend you definitely have a perfume of this in your personal collection. So, we're gonna go over the best perfumes in the house of Creed so you can put your hard earned cash to good use and most importantly, have you guys smell it like a king. Creed's Millicene Imperial The opening notes you first smell when you first spray this perfume are a bunch of citruses including mandarin orange it also has a dash of sea salt. As it develops, you get hints of musk and wood uh, and a couple of other marine elements. The projection level of this perfume is like a small force field. People can smell it around you before it turns into a skin scent. Its longevity level is around half a working day as the perfume turns into a skin scent quite shortly after a few hours. Personally, I'm not a very big fan of citrus notes, but if it's more your taste, you should definitely try it out. Creed's Silver Mountain Water The vibe of this perfume is quite similar to the one aforementioned, but in the opening, you get a quick blast of citrusy oranges, but straight after that, as it starts to dry down a bit, you get some hints of green tea, and after it's on your skin for a few hours, the scent becomes slightly musky and you start to detect some sandalwood. Its projection level is medium sized force field and people can easily get wafts of this throughout the day. Its longevity level is a full working day even though its projection starts to subside after a few hours. Creed's Royal Aoud If you like perfumes with more of an Arab twist to them then I'm sure you'll like this one. Although it has old in the name, uh, it's really hard to detect. You don't really get that many whiffs of it. Uh, it's quite a safe scent and um, there's loads of other notes on top of the old, which is actually in the base in the dry down. The opening, like the other creeds, is again a bit citrusy with some pink berry. And after a while, you were, you were able to detect the change where it's more woody and oldy. As it develops in your skin, you start to detect some musk as well. Its projection level is a small force field and its longevity varies, uh, usually lasts a decent amount during the day. Creed's Green Irish Tweed This is Creed's most classic and well known perfume. It's had a slight reformulation over the years and a change of colour for the bottle but uh, it's still s said to smell really similar to, to the original one, uh, which I believe was released around the 80s. The vibe this perfume would give you is fresh but with some sophistication. And when it starts to dry down, the scent becomes a bit more sandalwoody, but still given that fresh sort of vibe. The projection level for this one is again a small force field, and the longevity is pretty solid, probably lost in uh, a whole working day. Slight disclaimer, this perfume does give more of a mature vibe, so maybe stay away from this if you're too young, but if that's when, what you're going for, then by all means. Creed's Aventus Now this one is a true legend in the fragrance community. Is it overhyped? Uh, you guys can be the judge of that. The opening for this one is quite pineapple-y, a bit of citrusy sort of vibe again. Um, I don't particularly like it, but some people love it. I like the dry down a bit better, personally. After that initial opening, you start to get more of the sophisticated vibe with notes that are actually quite well blended. Uh, the best way I could describe it is having a sort of leathery, fresh sort of aroma, even though it doesn't really contain a leather note. Uh, it's actually quite clean. I definitely recommend to try it. The projection level for this one is like a blast away. When you go past someone with this thing on you, you're gonna hit them with the scent. People are sure to smell you in the room if you have this thing on. The longevity level is pretty much full day. All you need is a couple of sprays and then you can just let this perfume do its thing. In conclusion, Creed is a very well known and well respected perfume house. 
you're sure to get hella ratings if people who are into perfumes find out you're wearing this stuff. Uh, just make sure it's within your budget because Creed perfumes can get quite pricey. Now I hope you guys got a good insight uh, regarding perfumes in this perfume house. Please let me know what perfumes you want me to do next, what houses you want me to cover next etc. Um, please like, subscribe if you liked the video, uh, stay smelling fresh and most importantly, stay blessed.